I cannot believe some of these people have been nominated and I haven't got one single nomination. I'm guessing you start recording. Yeah. All right, sorry about that. My name's Tom, I work in customer services. Um, me and Shannon here have been asked to do a video for the Staff Awards for this year. Unfortunately for you guys, Shannon's behind the camera. So you've got to part with my horrible voice and my dodgy moustache for the next 10 minutes in this video or so. So what we're going to do is run through some of the nominees and we're going to interview some of them as well about their thoughts working at Tandridge Council. So we're here with the first two interviewees. So we've got Eric Voss from Hydrogen Project Services and Bradley Safri from Customer Services. Um, Eric, I'll start with you. I've um, been nominated for three awards, all in the individual category. Um, I feel pretty appreciated by your work colleagues. Yeah, yeah, of course I am. Um, but I have to say that I couldn't have done my job over the past 12 months in particular um, without the input from a lot of other people, from a lot of other departments. So more a team effort um, than an individual? Definitely a team effort, yeah. Good. Um, and Bradley, I see you every day, yeah. unfortunately for you. Um, apart from working with me, what's your favourite thing of working at Cambridge Council? Um, well, every day is different really. Um, there's a variety of different calls that we get um, and the teams that we work with are really sort of supportive and helpful. So, uh, yeah, no, um, I just think, yeah, every day is different really. It's good. good. Um, and Eric, a big part of this year for you has been moving repairs from customer services down to the depot. Um, what was the most complicated part of that procedure for you? Um, well, the, the main objective was to, to really take a step back um, review the, the existing process from start to finish yeah. um, sort of with a fresh pair of eyes. Yeah. Um, the most difficult thing about that for me was that I'm involved in that process, submerged in that process on a, on a daily basis. Yeah. So to have those fresh eyes, again, it, it needed the input of a lot of other people. Yeah. Um, it wouldn't have happened um, without having a different perspective from different departments that are involved in that process as well. Yeah. Um, so again, it was really a, a joint effort. Right. It's been a success so far, isn't it? Obviously, it's going well so far. It has, yeah, it's going well. Um, yeah, yeah, we're all, we all seem to be pleased with how it's going. It's so going on where it continues. <laughs> and question five for you, um, apart from yourselves, if you could nominate a team or a person in the building to be nominated for an award, who would that person or team be and the reason why? Um, Bradley, I'll start with yourself. Um, I'd probably say Jan Ward. Um, forget any uh, difficult sort of planning inquiries. Um, and uh, yeah, no, she's always very helpful. She gets straight back to us. So, Eric, yourself? I think I'd say Simon Beasley. Yeah. Um, just because he's got this this knack of taking complex issues and making them simple. Yeah. Um, of always approaching the customers in a calm manner um, and helping them to understand what the situation is. Um, I'm a little bit envious of that match, <laughs> but yeah, he seems to have it. Uh, good. Well, thanks for your time and good luck with nominations. So, me and Shannon come down to the depot today to show you how one part of the council works away from the main office, and we also come to interview some of the members of the TCS teams and the streets teams. As you can see, got my attractive wife, his jacket on, and it's freezing cold as well. So I'm going to give you a little tour of the uh, depot quickly. So over in this corner here, you've got all the workshops. So that's where the maintenance happens for all the vehicles. If we turn the camera around this way, in that blue building there, you've got the TCS teams and then the repairs teams. So all the repairs and things like the abandoned vehicles and cisprinting is all done from that blue office just there. Turn around again slightly, try and ignore the wind. We've also got the street cleaning in the office down there. We've got see one of the vans just coming from a job and in that other corner just down there as well you've got Biffa and that's all the bins are collected from. Alright so we're down at Royal Lane Depot, um, obviously I've worked quite closely with you two guys in previous customer services so I'll let you both introduce yourselves for those who won't know you, so Jack I'll start with you. I'm Jack Cross, I'm the building maintenance supervisor for plumbing, um, day to day I get the work and allocate it to the guys and make sure they all go smoothly. And Steve? I'm Steve Nicholson, I'm the Building Maintenance Manager and I oversee the, uh, the supervisors and the repairs admin side. Perfect. Um, we've spoken to Eric about this and obviously a big part of the last few months for you guys has been moving repairs over from customer services to the Warren Lane Depot. Um, obviously how well has it gone and how successful has it been so far? Well I think it's been very successful, it's been a very smooth transition. Good. 
um, and judging by the responses we're getting from customer surveys, um, it seems to have been taken out very well. Good, glad to hear that. Um, and Jack, you've only been here for under a year, uh, I think only six months, so it's been on that in the first obviously, year of doing a job, must be pretty good for yourself. Yeah, definitely. I mean, I'm very proud to have been nominated and hopefully I can just keep up the good work and get another one next year. Good, good. And obviously both of you, um, if you could pick one person or a team from the depot, um, other than yourselves, to be nominated for the awards, who would you both pick? Well, I think the, the troops on the ground, to be honest yeah, with you, with the, uh, yeah. you know, uh, our electricians, plumbers. Um, I don't know how well people know them or even know who they are, but um, you know, they're the guys on the front line doing the work for us. Good, good to hear. Right, well, good luck, folks, and uh, thank you very much. Cheers. Cheers. Right, so just interviewed uh, Steve and Jack, obviously, and we're here two other members of the uh, Defo team, so I'd like to introduce yourself. So I'll start with you, Scott. Yeah, I'm Scott Coughlin, I'm the street scene manager. I'm Nick Marley, and I'm the depot manager. Okay, um, Scott, I'll start with you. Um, you've got two team nominations for streets overall, and also lead general in the outstanding service. Yes. You must feel pretty trapped as their manager. Well, very much so. I think we, we work as a department, and we get all of our accolades and our complaints as a department as well. And I think that's what I particularly like about managing my own team, good. is that we all you know work together to get the job done. Yeah. Good, good. And same sort of question for you, Nick. Um, obviously, you've got Steve and Jack nominated, who you've just spoken to, um, and also your admin team downstairs are nominated as well. Um, how much work from yourself goes in day to day to run in this area of the depot, from repairs to the admin team? I, I think it's a, a vast amount of work that goes on at the depot. Um, which sometimes people don't realise. Yeah. I mean, we have everything from uh, responsive repairs to call handling, taxi licensing, abandoned vehicles. I mean, a huge, huge long yeah. list. And I mean, the team have to do everything from planning, scheduling, arranging for purchase orders, paying people. Um, without that, it wouldn't happen. Yeah. And I mean, they're a fantastic team, and I, I work really, really hard to make mm -hmm. sure that services delivered. Yeah, because I think the reason we come up here mainly is because people at the office don't really see what happens at the depot quite a lot. So we sort of want to highlight to them what happens up here, what they don't see behind the scenes more or less. So. I think you're right. I think a lot of people think street cleaning is just street cleaning. Yeah, yeah. And there's so much more than that. It's actually the street scene department. So yeah. it includes like the removal of fly tipping, our public conveniences, graffiti removal, our car parks, street furniture. Yeah, there's a lot going on. So yeah, it's <laughs> just very busy. Yeah, good, good to hear. Um, obviously, question for both of you to send it. Um, what was your favourite thing about working for Sandwich Council as a whole? And if you didn't do the job you did at the depot, what else would you want to do in the council if you wanted to? Okay. Uh, <laughs> easy first part of the question, it's the family feel. Good. We, we all feel like a family. I've worked for two large authorities before working at Tandridge. And that by far it is apparent from day one where you know everyone by name and face and i think that's one of the greatest assets that we as an organization have so uh, so yeah definitely the family film we all look out for one another Good. in terms of what i would do if i wasn't <laughs> doing this job now it's quite interesting because i could actually go one of two ways which would be i would either be managing another frontline service right so maybe something like TCS or yep. parks and open spaces yep. where you get direct contact with the public or go in the complete opposite direction and work amongst like uh, the policy department oh, interesting. in looking at the strategic vision as where we go ahead as a council. So uh, one of the two. Good, good, good. And you? Um, I agree with Scott. I, I mean very much since I've joined because I've only been here about a year. Yeah. So um, I think that it's a really nice feel about the council really friendly people that, that you know go the extra mile to help you yeah. especially as somebody joining the, the authority yeah uh, that was fairly new so that was great um what would i do well if i was going to be honest i'd either have paul barton's job or louise i might as well be honest <laughs> uh, well thanks for actually time much appreciate it yeah. and good luck in your award nominations thank you thanks guys So I'm here with two of the familiar faces from the planning department. So we've got Jan Ward here and Paige Barlow. Um, you both been nominated, obviously. Uh, Jan, you've worked here for years and years. Um, what's been your favourite part of work at Tangers over those many years? I've been here since no one was born. <laughs> 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 yeah, I mean, over the years, we've had lots of ups and downs, um, lots of stresses and strains. But I think we've also had lots of laughs nice. and um, lots of social things where we all joined together. One of the memories is the road race that we used to have 
uh, which looking back now is absolute madness <laughs> because it was so dangerous. But in the dark on a winter's night once a year, they would race from the sofa hall in Catrum up to Catrum School and back again yeah. um, with all sorts of antics going on and it's memories like that. Oh, good, good. And um, Paige, um, you and Boom Chow and Planning put a new system in. Uh, what was your involvement in that this year and how did it go? Okay, so when I was in building control, um, I helped with Angela and Sue to start to develop um, Salesforce. And then when I moved into planning, I helped Chris, Jessup and Jan to um, develop Arcus as well. So um, I think it's a really, it's a good system. It means we can constantly develop it. Um, wouldn't have been able to do it without Chris Jessup. But, um, <laughs> it is, yeah, it's a good system. It's a team work, yeah. obviously. Yeah. So, no, good. Um, question for both of you. If there was an individual or team you could nominate apart from yourselves, obviously, who would that person or team be and why? <laughs> obviously us. <laughs> <laughs> obviously a planning team, I'm guessing, so. Um, I think for me, uh, in the words of the sort of 1920s, it would be the bright young things. It's all the young <laughs> apprentices and young workers that we've had. We've been extraordinarily lucky, yeah. uh, wonderful bunch of people, and I think with them, the future of Tandridge is looking good. Good. What about you, oh, Anyone in particular? Um, well, I think um, Chris Jessup as well for helping us, and Jan as well, but then also I think the planning team, I think we've had a lot of challenges. Um, this year, and I think a lot of changes. I think we've all done very well. Good. And another one for both of you. Um, tell me something that no one in the council would know anything about you at all. I have had a lifelong ambition this year and sat at the controls of a Spitfire. Oh, that's pretty cool. <laughs> but I didn't fly. <laughs> <laughs> it was parked on the ground, but I did wiggle the, the joystick, so okay. it was just wonderful. You know, it's exciting. I was in a series of local operas when oh, I was little right, and famously okay. played a little rat. I <laughs> <laughs> little vixen. Oh, yes, rat. <laughs> good and then I could sing. Yeah. Good, well, thanks both for your time. Much appreciated. And uh, good luck with your nominations. Thank so, you. Thank you. <laughs> bring me down. Can love us too So I'm here with one of the teams that were nominated for the Teamwork Award, which is planning policy. Um, I'll let you introduce yourself. So we'll start with Matt and then go around. So your name and your job role, please. So I'm Matt Chapman and I'm a planning policy officer. I'm Tal Clayman and I'm a senior planning policy officer. I'm Lisa, she's local planning officer. Sarah Thompson, head of strategic planning policy. And Minnie Nalwapi, I'm the community infrastructure officer. Perfect. Right. Um, a big part of your year um, has been the local plan for your team. Um, just explain what that entails and also the tight sort of schedule that you worked in as well whilst doing that. Yeah, so the local plan is a planning policy document for looking at where we'd allocate development to go for the next 20 years. And that's a range of different um, uses. So we're looking at retail, leisure and um, housing. And as part of that, it's about a three-year program to try and put that together. And we have to go through a number of rounds of consultation within that. At the moment, the last year really, we've been working up to getting towards a consultation document that will go out for 10 weeks from December to February. And as part of that preparation, we have to compile a lot of different evidence-based documents to support what will be in the plan. Okay. And the team really have all kind of been working on individual evidence-based documents. We have to work closely together mm. to make sure we know what each evidence is saying so that when we prepare the actual document itself, they all align. So that's a lot of teamwork all together, obviously, and yeah. team comes together. Exactly. Good, good, good. Um, obviously, something like this award, you've shown good teamwork, as I've explained already. Um, a lot of you have only worked here for sort of around a year under a year. I think Matt's been here the longest, must be 11 years, he says. <laughs> so, a veteran. Um, obviously, to be nominated after only being a team for a short time must be quite good for yourselves altogether. So. Yeah, yeah, I mean, obviously, you know, as you say, we're a relatively new yeah. team. Tal being the nearest board, um, both myself and Sarah have been here basically about a year. So, yeah. and then Minnie didn't start too, too long before both Sarah and I. Um, it's It's been a steep learning curve because we had quite a big. <laughs> We had quite a big uh, agenda, if you like, when we yeah. first came into it in terms of the fact that this is what we've got to get achieved. So it has been a real steep learning curve, but I think, you know, we've dealt with it incredibly well. You know, the team have adapted um, and all of the pressure that has been on us um, in terms of, you know, just trying to get to that next milestone. Everyone's raised the challenge, everybody's picked up other people's work in order to try and, you know, make sure that we work towards that and, and we're still on schedule for meeting our first big milestone. So. Yeah, good. Well, you're nominated for that reason, haven't you, obviously? So, it's good to see. So, well, thanks for your time. Much appreciated. And good luck with the nomination. Thank you. Cheers, <laughs>
So those are some of the nominees for this year's Staff Awards. Thank you for all of those that took part and good luck. As you can tell, I'm not bitter about not being nominated at all. You're lost people. I'll now hand back to Louise, who will start the award ceremony. Did you get all that? Yeah, I did. Good. I am absolutely wasting this council. You need to get me on TV, daybreak, 6am, Susanna Reid next to me, full potential. That's what I'm made for, on TV, me, I'll tell you that now. Clap along if you feel like happiness is the truth, because